Hello, heroes and Zargons. My name is Matt, or Blackbird if you prefer, and this is the Zargon of Trials and Tribulations, a series which details the many ways in which the Emperor's heroes foil Zargon and his minions in their plots to conquer the Empire. In it, we'll review the published quests and any house rules or modifications we're using to make the game more interesting and challenging. In this episode, I'll be discussing the Return of the Witch Lord Quest 3, The Silent Passages. This one will be quick. Mentor's introduction to Quest 3, The Silent Passages, reads as follows. These passages have been silent for over a thousand years. The last voices that echoed through these hallowed halls were those of King Agrain and his subjects as they rushed to defend the city. It is said that ancient and terrible magic is at work here. Tread carefully, my friends, as you search for the wooden exit door that leads to safety. This quest begins and ends in the northeast corner of the game board. The heroes must head west at the outset and make their way around the entire perimeter of the board while having the opportunity to explore a few rooms in each of the four quadrants. The rooms of each quadrant contain a few undead enemies, ten in the northwest quadrant, six in the southwest and northeast quadrants, and only two in the southeast quadrant. A few traps, including two that are directly on the other side of doorways, and one on a treasure chest. And sometimes a few treasures. The southwest quadrant contains the spirit blade artifact, only if the heroes don't already have it from the original quest pack. In the northeast quadrant, the heroes can find two magical throwing daggers, a potion of healing, and 100 gold coins, before exiting through the wooden exit door in the northeast corner of the board. A decent amount of danger, a few nice rewards, and a cool extra mechanic that is used in the perfect way. What makes this quest so fun, despite its extremely linear layout, is the evil death mist that patrols the perimeter of the board. Zargon controls the mist and can move it up to six squares on every turn. If the mist runs over a hero, that hero loses one body point, and that damage adds up fast. Especially if the heroes take time to fight battles and explore the rooms that they come across. A kind-hearted Zargon might determine that the mist is mindless and floats through the hallway with no particular rhyme or reason. A more cutthroat Zargon might decide that the mist is malevolent and actively seeks out the heroes, going so far as to patrol back and forth in front of doorways that the heroes need to come through. I chose the latter. Of course, there are a few ways the heroes can get rid of the mist, but Zargon doesn't need to tell them that. Most good quests give the heroes options. This quest gives Zargon the options, and the choices that Zargon makes, in turn, inform the strategy of the heroes. Let us know in the comments how vicious the Death Mist was when you ran this quest. We'll see you in the next one.